and welcome back for another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this mask. So I just want to say right off the bat, if you want to skip this part, there is a timestamp at the top of the description box below. So you can click that to skip all of my talking. So hopefully I don't take too long and hopefully you understand what's going on. So this is the mask. It is a full face mask. So if you didn't already check out my last tutorial, I'll put a little photo here of what it looks like and of course the link and the information icon it might be over there I don't know anyways um, so that that one was in the accordion kind of like expanded over your nose this is a full face one so it goes like that very nice very secure all here nothing's getting in there now with this mask this one could potentially fit or pass a fit test. Now, if you don't know what a fit test is, um, it's something that the nurses would go through when they put on a N95 mask. So for this one, there is a insert right here where you could put a filter. You can also insert a piece of metal here, like a pipe cleaner or something, to form over the bridge of your nose. And then to pass the fit test, you would probably need some double-sided tape all the way around it, and then that would protect you from the coronavirus. Um, that filter would have to be 0.03 something. I'm not exactly sure. They were saying that if you can get a hold of um, like HEPA filter paper that would be in your vacuum cleaner, that is um, it's fine enough to prevent coronavirus type viruses from entering. So of course I will have some links down below for information about that exactly but this would be great masks for anyone in need of surgical mask or just basically anybody who needs a mask. So there will be three sizes for this pattern. Um, it is free for you and you can download it over at the blog which will be in the description box below as well as the information icon and you can print it out and there's the three sizes. This is a medium, so it fits me perfectly. So the large would be for more like a man, and then the smaller one would probably be more for like a teenager. So I just wanted to say thank you so much for all of your likes and shares over on the last video. It has been so well received, especially during this time, um, during this pandemic. It is so important to kind of band together and the hospitals and different businesses that are low on stock for these masks to be able to do their you know, normal work um, are really in need for masks. So you can check your local hospitals and things like that. Um, there are a lot of hospitals right now who are in dire need of masks, just any kind of mask, just something to fill the time until they can get masks from the government. Because I know you know, they're, they're on order and they're on their way, but even then, I mean, how long are they going to last? They need masks right now. So if you can get this pattern out there for everyone, both patterns, this one is super great for, you know, nurses and things like that. But both of them would be absolutely wonderful. This one I find is super easy and quick to work up though. Um, it's a little bit, it looks fancier, but compared to the accordion one, there's not as many things that could create headaches, I, I suppose you could say. So of course, check over at the blog post. I will have links to where you can get the elastic. I really love the round elastic. It's more comfortable around the ears. And of course, it's just regular cotton fabric. So thank you so much for all of your support. And I hope that you stay safe, stay indoors. I hope your family is safe. And let's get into the tutorial. Bye guys. Okay, so here are the pattern pieces that you will need. This is the medium size. You will need four of the full face pieces and then two of the inner lining pocket piece. So I chose to use this beautiful galaxy print for the outer. I'm going to line it with some black fabric and then for the lining pocket, I'm going to use this purple fabric here. I will also be using a 1 8 inch wide round elastic. I will have a link over at the blog post where you can grab some of that over off of Amazon. You can get a big spool of it. I do buy mine over at Walmart though, so you can get it there as well. So the first thing you're going to do is take your two 
um, lining pocket pieces and we are going to hem the one side so the side that is not curved um, so I did make it a little long here so you can make it a nice hem we're gonna finish off those edges I just folded it in a little bit and then I folded it again about mm, quarter of an inch a little more than that and I'm just gonna do a seam right across that and that's just gonna finish it off I will be using white thread so that you can see but of course if you want to use a matching thread so that it is less visible you can do that as well so I'm just going to hem that nice and closed to that folded edge and I am using a 2.5 stitch length and I'm going to do that for both pieces and then we can start putting them all right sides together so I did get a little bit of machine oil on this one so don't mind the little spot right there but I'm just going to put them with the right sides together lining up the curved edge very nicely we're gonna do a seam along that and we're gonna do that to the other four pieces so I'm just gonna get those ready I am loving this galaxy print I did get it over at Joanne so if you're interested I think this would make such a cool mask and so many people would wonder where you got it from just saying <laughs> and then of course I took my black fabric which there is no really right or wrong side it's just cotton fabric and then I will do a seam along the curved edge at a quarter of an inch. So I would love to know where you're from. Leave it in the comments down below. If you are affected by the pandemic that is happening right now, we are up in Canada. I have seen the rise and the surge of people infected in the USA. So I pray for all you guys and hope that you are all safe. So I'm just going to take my pieces and I'm just going to turn them right sides out, cutting off all of those little excess threads and we will start to assemble the mask. So once you get it going, I mean, these masks can whip up super quick. So I'm just going to take my lining piece and I'm going to take the pocket lining piece and I'm going to lay the pocket piece on top of the lining piece with the right side of the lining and the wrong side of the pocket touching. That will ensure that the pocket will be on the inside of your mask. I'm just gonna go and clip the pocket piece nicely centered, trying to center up the center seams as well. And then just to make sure that the pocket stays nice and flat, I'll put some clips right at the end here and here. And then we will take the outer piece of our mask, the front of the mask, and we are going to place that on top with the right sides down. <laughs> and then again, we're just gonna take those clips and then reclip them in those spots. And I'll add a few clips on the ends. And we just want to make sure that all of the sides are nice, lined up, and even. And then we can sew all the way around. And we're going to leave a little hole. And for these masks, you don't need very much room to be able to turn it right side out. So I'm leaving about one inch gap, maybe even less than that, right in this one little spot. Um, this is the only place that I think you should have the hole. I'm going to start sewing before the little lining pocket just so that I can make sure that that is nicely and secured in. And then we'll just go up to the center of the masks and then just keep going all the way around. So when you get to the corner, you wanna leave your needle in and then lift your presser foot and pivot your fabric and then put the presser foot back down and then keep sewing. That'll give you a perfect corner. And then when we get to the last corner, you're just gonna do it a little bit just to make sure that you formed the corner and then we'll take it out of the machine. And then if you want to snip off those corners to make those, um, those little corners nice and sharp when you flip it right side out, if you have time to do all those little finessey things, then do that. If not, if you're making a ton of these, then just flip it, doesn't matter. 
So all you need is enough room for like your thumb to get in there and this mask it's not too much to just flip right side out and I use a knitting needle to help poke out all of those corners and then we can just iron it up quick. Um, that hole that we use for turning we're going to just tuck in those raw edges there and then I just use one of these um, rolls I forget what they're called but I just used it to press the curve into the mask um, and then I just did a quick press all the way around and then I'm going to work on the casing for our elastic so I have my round elastic and if you wanted to you could just take the ends fold them up and do a top stitch just to create that little casing but I'm gonna go one step further and I'm going to sew two seams about a quarter of an inch or half an inch away from each other to create the seams so if you've never seen this technique before you can kind of uh, you you see it when people make drawstring bags sometimes so I'm going to do about a half inch away from the edge and I'm gonna go right to the edge of the fabric and do back stitching over top so beginning and end and then I'm gonna go again really really close to the edge and again making sure that you back stitch at the beginning and then go all the way to the end and run the machine right off the fabric and then back stitch this is just going to kind of lock in the stitches around the mask and you'll see very shortly why um, I'm going to do that on the other side and then after that I'm going to do a top stitch along the top and the bottom of the mask and that's just going to make sure that everything stays nice and flat. So there is my casing done. I'm just going to start at the second row of stitches and do a top stitch and that's just going to make it look a little bit more polished and professional. And making sure you snip off all of those little threads. Those would be super annoying if they were left on the mask. Okay, so now I'm going to cut off some elastic. We got, um, well, it depends. The great thing about this elastic is I'm going to do 8 inches. But whoever you give the masks to, just let them know that if the mask is a little loose fitting, that they can just tie another knot and that elastic and make it a little bit shorter and then the mask will fit better. So I'm just going to take my stitch ripper and I'm going to cut two stitches within that row of stitches that we made, so the casing. So we're just doing it on the side and that is just going to create little openings and then we're going to easily be able to just go in there and put our elastic in. So this just makes it a little bit more fancy, I guess. I, I haven't seen anyone do this. This this was my thought. I don't know. There's a lot of masks out these days. They're kind of just all over the place, but I was trying to be original. <laughs> so I am using a darning needle. So I went over to the, you know, the crochet stash and I grabbed that. So that is a really good tool to thread these elastics. So I definitely would recommend getting these if you don't already have them for this purpose. So I just went in straight in there and you could even not cut those stitches because with the darning needle it's so small that you could kind of just squeeze right in there. So just gonna do one knot and then you can move the elastic so that the uh, that knot is inside the casing and you won't even see it to make it look even more professional. So I hope that you enjoy this tutorial and you share it with all your friends. Of course, again, if anything does happen to you or your family, I wish you the best and that everyone is healthy and gets through all of these things. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.